Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I would like to bring to your attention Logo Diffusion Deal. It is AI logo maker, which is available as Absomo Black Friday Deal. And nowadays there are too much of logo makers and it is really hard to find a good one and Logo Diffusion really looks promising. However, before we jump into review and demo, let me show a few important things you need to know about this deal, which were pointed out by actual users in reviews and questions section for this deal. So with this deal, you will be able to generate logos. We'll see how it works. There are some features like this one by your sketch. You will be able to generate logo. However, it works not real time. You will still need to provide a prompt, for example, minimalist horse head, and then hit create. So just a minor comment, but this sketch function is not working real time. And there were a few comments about monthly credits. Just so you know, depending on the size of the image, the generation of one logo approximately will cost you three credits. So 250 divided by three, you will get about 80 images. And if you would like to draft your logos quicker, you might want to generate four at once. So let's say divide by four. So we will have about 20 generations of four logo images at once. So honestly, I think the limits in license tier one are too low. And with this tool, at least you need to start with license tier two or three to feel more comfortable with the tool to have a room for your experimentation with logos. Also, as with any AI generation tool, it will take some time of trial and error to try the best prompt for your current use case. Also, let's quickly look at the reviews. There is one more important topic about this tool that for bigger image scale, after some limit, you will be switched back from version two to version one. And this is confirmed by the owners. They explain it in the way that by the moment they reached agreement with Absomo, there was no version two available and still they provided for Absomo users to some extent. Also, what I liked about the creators of the tool is that they listen to the feedback from the AppSumo community. For example, this user pointed out that standard license was stating that your generated images are readily available to publish for Logo Diffusion community. Then we've got a few more replies in that thread and the creator of the tool listened to the feedback and they adjusted their terms and conditions. So by default, all of your generations for all apps and more license tiers will be private to you. All right, so let's actually start review and demo. And this is the main dashboard. I like the simplicity of the tool. So you have text to image feature. You will be able to select different styles for 2D and 3D version of your logo. You will have additional settings and you can see how many credits you will spend per generation. Also to the left, you can see you can upload your initial image to influence the generation and you can use canvas to generate your image. Let's start with the simple prompt. Here we can assign some priority for the words in the prompt. Let's say rabbit, more important one. Regarding style, let it be pictorial, modern, minimalist, full body, let it be like so. Also, we can choose our colors, but let's keep it for the default. In the advanced settings, you have a lot more power and control, but let's keep it as simple as possible and leave all default values. And let's generate. So we are getting four generations at once. All right, here are our generations. And actually those look nice. We can check this one. Yeah, nice looking image. When you select a particular logo, we have additional option. So I believe we can use it as start for 3D, as inspiration for another logo. We can edit, remove background, or turn this image into vector image. And regarding this feature, you can vectorize only images created by this tool. You cannot upload your own and use this feature to vectorize your uploaded files. You can upscale image, save it, so I would say it is a pretty nice tool. So even from the first run, we've got good results. Let's actually generate two images per our prompt and test another feature and use canvas. 
let's imagine this is a rabbit and let's use this as inspiration for our logo design. Let's save and let's generate the same prompt. Rabbit Samurai Warrior. Now let's use mascot style, thin lines, modern. Oh, let's use vintage, detailed, portrait and dimension. Let it be the smaller one and let's generate. Okay, so this is a mascot style. Yeah, it actually reminds of the pose of my so-called sketch. As you can see, I cannot draw and the tools like Logo Diffusion will help me a lot. Let's test a few more styles. Let it be beige, sports minimalist. This time, let's choose some colors. Let it be aquamarine and the second color black. And let's generate. All right, so the one to the right, I think I like this one more. And I think you will need to play with the prompts. Let's use cartoon one without colors specified. Let's go. Okay, let's remove this setting for the importance of Revit. Let's try line art and generate. Could be a good variation of a Revit line art. So for a logo type, if you choose that option, it isn't better yet. And you need to be putting this specific prompt, a logo type of the word and then word in double quotes to get better results for this particular feature. Let's generate four images. Here are the settings and let's generate. I see rabbit in one image. Yeah, as I saw in the video from the creators, they tell, yeah, this feature is in beta, so it's not working 100% of the time. Okay, so let's try 2D pixel art style and generate. All right, so here are our generations. I think those look really great. Personal favorite is this one. Yeah. Also, let's test 3D. There are nice styles. Let's use isometric and generate. Oh, that's awesome. I think this is really great result. And my favorite is this one. Just look at this Samurai Rabbit Warrior. Straight from this picture, I think you can put it into some game design, mobile game or some desktop indie game. I like the result. Now let's move to image to image feature. Out of my curiosity, I would like to improve my Crowded Lab YouTube channel logo. Let's see how it will go. Let's use this image as inspiration. Image influence, let it be high. Use image colors, yes. The style, let it be pictorial, 2D. The prompt, let it be modern minimalistic logo. And let's generate. Okay, so image to image, it didn't work for me as I expected. Maybe I didn't provide the correct prompt because I think still you need to tell what to draw. And this one could be some measurement device. So I believe it is pretty hard to tell AI how to draw this complex one. So anyway, I think if you define correctly what you expect from the tool, you can get great results. All right, moving to a conclusion. And first of all, let's see how many credits I have spent. I have generated 28 images and for me the cost was about 40 credits. And when you do experimentation, you can lower the resolution of resulted images to save credits. And then you can just upscale images that you liked. Regarding logo design, I think in my case, the pictorial style worked the best. These are four images from the first generation and I would use one in actual logo if I needed to. So in short, I enjoyed using Logo Diffusion. I think it is a great tool. The market is oversaturated with logo makers, but this one looks great. And to get this tool, please check the link in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.